of that is Ripple has invested and is working with about 10 different governments around the world to do central bank digital currencies. I mean, a central bank digital currency is a stable coin. It's just it's issued by the government. You want the dollar to remain the world's reserve currency. Well, I think it's bigger than losing any war. Mm -hmm. I think if it doesn't, uh, look, we are already reverting to third world status in many ways. You look at our airports, you look at our terminals, you look at our filthy roads and broken roads and everything else. We're like a third world country. We have something that's very powerful, and that's our dollar all over. But you take a look at what's happening to it now with other countries not using it. And you know China wants to replace it with mm -hmm. yuan. Mm -hmm. And it was unthinkable with us. Unthinkable. Would never have happened. Now people are thinking about it. That could happen. And if that happens, that would be one of the worst things to happen to this country in 200 years. Mm -hmm. Going to a different economy. And we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box. Uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to 8% of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity as an American, you know. Uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it, it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of the huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, oh, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial s seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. The Chinese bank ICBC has been hit by a ransomware attack, and the U.S. Treasury market, as a result of that, um, has been disrupted. This, according to the Financial Times, we're going to get more right now with Bloomberg's Shanali Bassick. Shanali, what do we know? Uh, listen, we have the Financial Times now reporting that ICBC, one of China's largest banks here, was hit with a ransomware attack. And remember, they're a, a very significant intermediary in the Treasury market. The SIFMA has 
told his members that this has been part of the reason here uh, that the system has kind of clogged up, if you will, during that auction that we saw a little bit before. The attack had prevented ICBC, according to the Financial Times, from settling treasury trades on behalf of other market participants. A large executive at a major bank also telling the paper that such a large party on the fixed income clearing corp uh, creates major concerns, potentially impacting the liquidity of treasury markets. Now it was not just the poor auction. It was absolutely lousy. And, and uh, uh, you know, when, when the dealers have to step in to save a treasury auction, uh, that's a rare occurrence. And Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New World Order book shows you how the world really works, and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. And 2024 is going to be one of our most entertaining years. We have the presidential election. We have the drums of beating. We have the emerging markets going to be flipping the switch on the fourth industrial revolution. Now, we had the Fed signal rate cuts, but remember, guys, they haven't cut rates yet. So we know the massive magicians are about to set up that distraction. So therefore, they can cut rates while we still have inflation. And in the fourth quarter, once the election is over, we know the movie begins. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now, we had Bitcoin and crypto pull back this morning. Right now, as I'm doing this video, we are moving up slightly. Don't forget, guys, tonight we have CME that's going to open. We know it's going to move the market. And of course, when yield rates get to moving, it's going to move the market again. So make sure you're paying attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which are down. We have the dollar, which is down. We have volume and crypto down. We have Tether and USDC. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo at $390 billion. Make sure you're pulling that on a daily basis during the week because the repo has definitely been on a roller coaster ride, and we know that's one of the ways of manipulating yields. Plus, of course, we have Janet Yellen behind the scene doing buybacks. Make sure that you're on the Fed website. Now we have the North Carolina CBDC ban bill vetoed by Governor Roy Cooper. And even though we have Trump stating he will not allow a CBDC, remember, a president is only a president for four years. Then the next president makes changes. And if you're as old as me, we know anytime you get a president, what they run on, and when they get into office, things are totally different. But we know a CBDC is definitely coming. We see it being worked on. We know it's being tested. We get all this information from central banks, the BIS, these major crypto projects. And remember, guys, the fourth industrial revolution is the future. Everything is going to be digital. These fiat currencies are going to be history. And of course, the United States dollar is going to lose that world reserve currency title because we're going on a level playing field. And this time we're going to have China rising to be that world power. And we had the dollar used to take over the globe. And we know part of the power of the dollar was oil. And we know that petrodollar agreement is over. And now the digital yuan is starting to get circulated. The United States also being tokenized and circulated. 
But if you look at Belt and Road and you see all these countries and the United States is sitting on the outside looking in, and that's part of the plan. The only way we move over to this digital economy is by destroying this legacy market, which the United States runs globally. And that's the reason why we're hearing the drums are beating, cyber attacks, the bird man. There's going to be some type of crisis that's going to allow these machines to take over the economy. And we see universal basic income tested around the globe because they know that people are going to be sitting at home getting free money but little do they know this money is programmable telling you what when when and how to buy and you have three to six months to spend it or poof they're gone and remember the crypto teacher told you now guys do not forget about the spot bitcoin etfs we have blackrock fidelity and grayscale all closed down but getting over into a little crypto news we have trons Justin Sun developing a gas-free stablecoin solution for Tron, Ethereum, and EVM-compatible blockchains. And guys, the next step is going to be gas-free. And that's the biggest carrot that you can possibly dangle, and there's no fees. And when you're looking at the banking system, of course, DeFi is definitely the new banking. But when you're talking about less fees, this whole banking system that we have right now it's all based on fees. Now that we're going to be moving over to a real-time settlement economy, we're going to have less fees. So, of course, these small and medium-sized banks can't survive. We're only going to have a handful of banks that control the system. And right now, that's the way it is anyway. They just give us an illusion. And remember, the crypto teacher tells you. And then lastly, guys, we had Bitcoin and crypto dumping on the Mt. Gox news, not actually movements, but just news of us dumping. So we know it's the big banking wells that are dumping Bitcoin and crypto. Remember, guys, this is all ran by an algorithm the same way the stock market. We got the same six or seven stocks getting all the money. You cannot make this stuff up. The only thing you can do if you're a trader is take advantage of this volatility because we clearly see where the money is going. They know the sheep are distracted on things that don't matter, and this is allowing them to manipulate markets and not a word said, because those who understand are making money. And those who've been with me from the beginning when it comes to the YouTube channel, and also those who read my book, my NWO book, you know where this economy is going. If you're new to the channel, Sit back, watch a few videos, get the NWO book. Guys, make sure you go to the TikTok account. Go follow. Make sure your kids are listening because we definitely have that crisis around the corner. Like I told you, make sure you're enjoying the summer. Have your fun. But make sure that you stay in the lab because we clearly know something big is about to happen. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Because he knows when it comes to the NWO, it's all planned out. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books. Crypto teacher and the new world order book, plus the three kids books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get home stocks, the receiver, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing. They were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses.
I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figures. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends, so therefore we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yashua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Yashua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Yashua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.